so here we are at Art Poetica. This is my live work space in Gowanus. I've been here since 1990. In 2018, I thought, you know, it would be really great to use the space not only as my own art space, but as an exhibition space for other artists. Okay. And so that's how I developed the concept of Art Poetica. My two passions are art and poetry. Just very interested in combining literature and visual art and seeing how that vibration works. Violence permeates our culture. That is the thing I would want to change. My Still Life series relates to African Americans who have been killed violently. I pair these people with objects that have a lot of power for me. Sticks and stones may break my bones, but words can never hurt me. That is absolutely untrue. Words can be lethal, absolutely lethal. The bedrock of everything I do and of my creative practice is that violence and creativity are opposites. I have many sleepless nights, actually, and I've come to accept that, that my spirit is just really, really restless. Figuring out how to maintain doing all of the things that I really love, that I am a writer and an artist and a curator, and I do all of those things very, very deeply. So that was the promise that I made to myself, that I would say yes to everything I could possibly say yes to, and that I would give my all to everything that I could possibly do. And I've done that, but it is, it, it's quite a challenge. I don't see my life that way. I don't think in terms of failure. I think in terms of changing direction. I've become really expert in not beating myself up and in changing direction. One of the reasons why I do more than one thing, I can do my collages, I can paint, I can write poetry, because if I'm feeling too wound up, in one area, just switch, just go into something else. No, everybody gets it. Really? Yeah. <laughs> My work is, is definitely not opaque. I'm really aware that it's a circle. That it's not just that I'm putting something out there. I need something back. If there were a time when I felt like I wasn't getting enough back, I would be so sad. I would have to change. That's one of those things where I had to change direction a little bit. A lot of my work is about expectations. They would say, oh, it's a typical still life. Everybody would know that he's painting up some beats. This is about, you think you know what that is, but wait until you get close.